Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Banggood were kind enough to send me out this Z-Blaze uh, Vibe 5 smartwatch here. Very nice indeed. And I've been testing it for the last two to three weeks. Um, and it does everything that it says it does on the box really, basically guys. So um, first thing what we're going to do is, let's take a close look at the watch. Uh, what you get with it in the pack. Uh, and then we'll take a look at the app uh, for your phone as well. In the box you will find this charging lead which is magnetic and sticks on the uh, back end of the phone. Let's have a look. Like so. Just sticks onto the back of the phone like that. And then you simply uh, plug it in to your uh, USB charger uh, where it starts to uh, charge the, the uh, watch. You also get a, a very nice set of uh, instructions to go along with your uh, watch so you can uh, learn how to use it correctly nice comprehensive set of instructions there interestingly this particular uh, watch doesn't have any form of touchscreen it's all controlled by four buttons on the side of the phone itself you can see you can change the uh, watch face to several different faces quite a few different faces this one's my favorite because I have an eye for detail and I like all the information on there. Um, we also have power on and off. You can find your phone. There's a timer. Uh, there's a sport setting which allows you to sort you know click it on while you're running around and what have you. So you can get an idea of. Uh, let's see if we can get into that. Okay, so there's the uh, setting. You can see there's different. So you can start it off. It, it doesn't stand very long either, guys. Right, so go back to the mode again. Oh, here we go. It's just started off now. Look, so you've got your timer and it's starting your, your heart rate, uh, your distance, your cement of steps, and the heart rate as well. So it's all, all very interesting stuff. Let's see if we can stop that. There we go. Off again. Okay, sport. Uh, there's the messages from your phone if you have it hooked up all the time. Uh, there's your sleep. I've had seven and a half hours sleep last night by the looks of things. What else we got on here then? Let's have a look. Uh, there's your heart rate there. Let's, let's have a look so we can catch my heart rate for us, guys. It takes a few seconds. Once it captures your heart rate, which is hope. There we go, 47, 48. Pretty low heart rate by the looks of things, guys. Almost uh, not here. So it's, there we go. It gives a little vibration once it's actually captured your heart rate. 56, there we go. Moving on from the heart rate, we then have your. Uh, Distance. I've done 1.8 miles today because I've been to the uh, car boot sale again. There's your calories burnt there. And the amount of steps I've done today so far is 4,170. Looking on the uh, back end of the watch here, we have the uh, charging port just here, which as I say is magnetic. And just here we have the little light for the heart rate monitor, little light and camera for the heart rate monitor. Uh, and this little green LED will flash on and off several times once you put it onto heart rate monitor and um, it will get an idea of what your heart rate is and you can see it's CE marked as well. The strap is apparently uh, silicone. Um, it's a very stiff strap. I wish it was a little bit more flexible because I prefer a bit more um, stretchiness on a watch strap. So uh, it's either for me it's either too tight or it's a little bit loose and I'd much rather have that flexibility than the give in the um, in the strap but never mind you've got as you can see quite a few adjustments it is quite a large watch I say it's got quite a few functions I believe the body might be a zinc alloy or some description it's certainly I don't think it's plastic from what I've heard it's a uh, as it's banged into a few things and it is a uh, quite heavy little watch too it's quite thick quite large if you like large sports watches this could very well be the one for you I quite like it actually guys. The only thing I've found with it, some of the other um, sports watches I've had will give you um, a little vibration when you reach your steps. Mine's set to 9000. This is one of those that doesn't actually give you the uh, little vibration when you've reached your target. But there's not too much of a biggie. Looking on the sides of the watch here. This button is the power button. This is what they call the back button. The return button as it were. Back key. Power. Over this side we have up and down, the up and down keys just there. As I say, there is no touch screen on this at all. It's all done by uh, pushing the buttons. 
you can't do anything there's no touch screen at all so it's just down we go through everything I don't use the messaging thing because usually these screens are a bit too small for me to see properly but all the rest of it is of interest I think we ought to take a look at the app now guys the app for this particular watch is called Wear Health here it comes it's just loading up at the moment it'll take a few moments like they all do it'll take a few moments to uh, capture all the information from the watch itself um, as I say you just have to wait a little while there we go so you can see there's my sleep there's the sports, the calories, the miles I've done there's my heart rate um, there's also a uh, map on this as well so you can map out where you've been running yeah there's a sort of like a care thing here so you can, pl you can add your friends to share your information with and there's, there's my target of 9000 steps my sleep target is 7 hours don't know where that came from uh, you can shake to take a snapshot of your camera so just do this with your wrist and you'll uh, take a photograph and you can also find the device too and it will vibrate there it goes and you can see it um, it is actually vibrating there I don't know if you heard that guys but it is vibrating nicely um, what else we got here oh well there's the operating instructions that's handy instructions so if you if you do lose the instructions there's the instructions for the using the app and you can see there's the little map thing going on right there so you can actually sort of track where you've been with your exercising which is quite a handy thing to have um, there's your friends you can share your information with and here we have the um, target times etc which we've just been through earlier on the app is uh, quite a nice little app works very nicely I find no hassle at all the uh, the watch mates up with it very nicely and I found no problems using this app whatsoever I say you know the uh, it's, it's just not this must be here we go let's try and get it all back again just drag it down to uh, refresh it there we go so uh, it operates with the uh, watch very nicely and I'm quite happy with the app and I've been quite happy for the last two weeks with it okay so I've been using this little Z blaze um, Vibe 5 since I got it from Banggood thank you very much to Banggood for sending it in um, I quite like the idea of the uh, buttons to operate it with as opposed to a touch screen it makes quite a difference you know you can't accidentally um, switch off which is another watch I've had you can accidentally switch the watch faces by um, touching the screen but not with this one you have to make a concerted effort to uh, do it the, the switches work very nicely indeed you can see how it works up and down and then we've got um, back again so you can get back to the uh, watch face again whichever watch face you like there's quite a few of them available including this old-fashioned one here again there's lots of information displayed on all these faces here that's not a bad one either nice old-fashioned sort of like divers watch style for you if you like that sort of thing so there's um, quite a lot of um, information available on the uh, watch face itself straight away you can see your calories burnt, um, mileage, steps, heart rate, the whole lot's there, the day, date, time, your charge rate on this side, how far on this, this scale here is um, how far you've uh, walked that day, and once you've done your uh, steps it will be red all the way to the top. <clears throat> I think this uh, the pedometer on this is maybe a tad sensitive because with other watches um, I've had in the past I've done around about four to five thousand steps a day at work uh, this one shows me about nine thousand steps so maybe a little optimistic possibly but other than that quite a nice little bit of kit it's very well made as you can see there's a the quality is definitely there I'm very happy with that I say the only downside I can find is I'd rather have a slightly more flexible strap on it but uh, other than that, I think it's a very nice little bit of kit actually guys. Right then, so I have enjoyed my time wearing this watch. As I say, it is a little bit on the large side of things. If you don't like a large watch, you probably won't like this one. But the advantage for me is, getting on a bit, I don't need my glasses to actually read what it says on the screen. And that's quite handy really. As I say, if you want to leave it hooked up all the time to your phone, it will give you um, your messages, what messages you've got come through. They are available 
right there if you need you know how many messages you've got you can read your messages as well I don't use that function because these things are usually quite uh, quite small for me to look at I'd much rather look at it on my phone so I don't leave it uh, connected to my phone all the time but other than that it's quite a nice bit of kit as I say I can see the, uh, the time nice and easily the date nice and easily I don't have to squint don't have to put my glasses on every five minutes to see it but um, yes overall a very nice piece of kit actually guys there are a couple of ways of activating the screen you can either press the button like so or once it goes out there we go what we can do is you just bring your arm up like so and you can, it'll come on for you okay then I would like to thank Banggood for sending in for me to take to review for you guys to take a look at as well what I'll do is I'll put you a, an affiliate link in the descriptive text down below so you can click on that link you can check the price and availability in your country um, as I say if you like a large watch you'll like this one indeed um, it, I believe it's also waterproof too, IP67 so you can have a bath in it, you can take a shower in it but I don't think you can go diving in it, not too deep anyway um, what I'll do is I'll put it just here, how far you can actually take this thing underwater but uh, it's ideal for taking a bath, having a wash, washing the car um, showering etc but uh, I don't think you're going to go diving in it guys so there we have it then, the Z-Blaze Vibe 5 Smart Fitness Watch. Very nice piece of kit. So I do like the display. Very, it's ideal for uh, those of us uh, who are getting on a bit with a slightly dodgy eyesight. Uh, quite a nice bit of kit actually. As I say, it's quite hefty. It's very well made. And I've been using it for the last two or three weeks, ever since I got it from in, in from Banggood. Uh, charging takes an hour or so. Uh, battery life on this appears to me to be around about two weeks per charge um, I don't use the uh, constant uh, heartbeat monitor all the time um, but that will obviously you know if you use it for like the sports settings and constant heart rate monitoring that will actually reduce battery life but for me this is held up for about two weeks between charges thereabouts so that's quite good and I say it's easy enough just to hook it up with a magnetic um, connection on the back there plug it into any uh, USB charger and it will charge it in an hour or so probably a couple of hours I think and um, yeah nice bright display uh, clear display uh, it's really easy to use you don't really need to get into the app to access any of the um, anything you want from it it's all done from the bot bot buttons on the side here so quite useful but say so, you know if you like if you like your touch screen then you're probably not going to like this one too much but I don't mind it at all actually guys it's not a big deal to you know hit the buttons on it no big deal at all okay then so the Z Blaze Vibe 5 smart fitness watch do I like it yes I do what don't I like about it well I'd much rather have a slightly more less stiffness to the uh, watch strap but that's no biggie at all really if it's a bit more flexible I'd be happier with that it's a nice big display so I can actually see it um, it's chunky, it's well made, I think it'll stand up to a lot of um, punishment although you know if you get it wrong you might break the screen but it is set back a little bit as you can see it's not flush with the top or anything so you've got this uh, bezel here protecting it to a degree I always wear mine underneath a um, sweat band on my wrist to protect it and that's what's been happening with this one for the last um, two weeks this is how I wear my watches as you can see you just peel back the sweat band hit the button and you can see the time very easily uh, it protects the watch. Uh, if the so should the uh, strap come loose for any reason, you won't lose it because it can't fall off. Uh, it protects it nicely, and it also prevents uh, reflections as well, which drives me up the wall if I'm driving and getting the sun flashing off the screen here. So uh, quite nice in that respect. Right then, so uh, please feel free to leave me any questions or comments down below in the uh, comments section. Um, let me know if you've got one of these, if you use it, or you have got any experience of any other Z Blaze uh, smart watches. Uh, this one, as I say, I quite like it a lot, and I would recommend it if you like. Uh, if you don't like touch screens, you probably won't like not having a touch screen. But other than that, I think it's quite a nice little watch. Uh, it's done me well for the last two or three weeks. Quite enjoyed wearing it. I will always, um, if I get anything like this, I will always wear it and run it for two or three weeks just to see if there's anything that could go wrong with it, has gone wrong with it, will go wrong with it then um, you know I will let you guys know but this one still going charging as I say it lasts a couple of weeks I guess uh, and then you'll have to recharge it again
but no big deal at all with the magnetic charging on the back. Okay guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. Um, please feel free to subscribe, rate and share the video. Alright then guys, thanks for watching. I do hope you'll come back again in the near future. And I will catch you later.